We both forgot to bring towels. What are we gonna do? We can't go in. We gotta go back to the room. Hello, Ada. Hello. Oh my gosh, she's way up there. Hey guys. So we uh, we kind of forgot our dive tools. So um, go get my Dr. Pepper. What? See if you can go all the way down to the bottom. It's eight feet. Oh, it's floating. Oh well, either way, can you get my Dr. Pepper? I've touched ten feet with my butt. Ten feet. Oh really? <laughs> Oh, that was just a waste. I guess we're gonna have to find a different dive tool. We are down in Destin. We are enjoying the pool right now. Ada, Tara, and Jayla are all upstairs eating some pizza. They're about to come downstairs and join us. Uh, but me and Rory decided to get down here a little early and go swimming, hit up the pool. And then we gotta hit up the beach too because the beach is so beautiful in Destin, so we're gonna go and hit that up soon. Before we do, I wanna show you guys a little bit of us preparing to get down here, the road trip to get down here. We had to drop off the dogs and make sure that they were taken care of. And then we did a nice little stop at a gas station. Well, it's more like a, like a truck stop. We went to a nice truck stop. How's the water? Is it nice? It is? I might have to hit one of those helicopter tours up. Look at that, you guys. That's awesome. They're going all over the place. See all the beaches in Destin. They're all over the place. I'm about to get in the water with Rory, but first I got to crack open a nice Dr. Pepper here. Guys, the fun made it to the pool. They're over here. Hey, babe. So we got Tarita. I got socks in my pocket. And she got socks in her pocket. Ooh, that sounds like a new song. Ooh, socks in my pocket, socks in my so pocket. Awkward. Don't forget my lucky locket. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's not gonna be a song, you guys. You, you're in the diving competition. Yep. Ada, you wanna be in the diving competition? No, rules are no diving. <gasps> oh, the rules are no diving. Oh, I gotta follow the rules. We know who is a rule follower in the family. It's and her name Ada, is Ada. Mom. Look at the mom. the mom. She's the I'm mom. Actually, I was just saying something. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. You guys get to rate it. It's gonna be me versus Rory, and you guys comment down below what the score is. So it's one through 10. You guys comment the score and who the winner is, and then we will pin like a comment that says who the clear winner was. We're gonna okay. pin a comment. What? What are we gonna do? Pin a comment. How do you do it? With Ma'am, what is your dive called? Dolphin dive. Okay, whenever you're ready, we are ready for you. Quite the dolphin dive. I give that a solid seven. All right, sir. All right, so I call this one the Swan Princess. Oh, because of yeah. how elegant it is. When I get in the water, you are not even gonna see a splash. All right, let's see this. Okay. No splash. It has to do with the the the, the pre-party. The oh. pre-dive. Oh, okay. The pre-party. The the pre no. Watch the toes. Watch the feet. Watch. It's all about the feet. You'll see the, with the way they're playing. Okay, ready, set, go. Better hurry up. Wow, very light splash. That was a solid four. Rory is my winner in my book. What? But we'll see what the Smelly Ballyans think. A four. He said he was gonna be like no splash. There's a pretty big splash though. I messed up under pressure, guys. Let me try this again. All right, swan dive, take two. Okay, You're kind of doing like a scorpion dive, is what I would call it. Right, not yeah. quite swan-like. Let me try that again. Not a pro. Not I pro. agree, Let Ada. Me show you. We'll demonstrate a true princess swan dive. Yes. All right. All right. Let's see. Um, that was like a floppy fish dive. <laughs> Here it is. All right. Without the feet. Yeah, just go at, a, go at an angle. You can do it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god. I thought she was going to hit her head. <laughs> no, they just never end the tours around here. These guys have been going for hours. Yeah. Is it hot? This is about how is hot my hot? bath water is. This is how you take your bath water. 104 degrees. Isn't it, gets... it ugly how yellow those lights are? Which I ones? Those that. ones? Bugs away, yeah. Yeah, bugs keep like bugs away. Yeah. I like it. You it like feels it? More hotelish. 
I mean, it does look like a mosquito attractor, it though. It's like a hot Cheeto. It looks like a, a hot, hot Cheeto. Cheeto. I was thinking like electronic sunset. It looks like Kraft mac and cheese. Oh, it does kind of look like Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> Will you end your tours already? Tomorrow, night one. Well, this is officially night one, but not really, kind of. So yeah. yeah, night one. Night two, we're gonna do resort day. Uh -huh. All around the resort. Then we're gonna go to a fancy dinner. When? Tomorrow night. We're gonna do our Ooh, fancy dinner tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Rory, what do you like think about that? A nice fancy one, a beachfront one on Ooh, the beach. a beachfront? Yes. Ooh. Are we gonna be out there by the Then, beach? yep, and then we come home and we do like late night beach walk crab hunting. Wait, 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 wait. Before we talk about all these extravagant plans any further, we all have to get our hair right. What's wrong with it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Now that our family has the proper hair attire, we can talk about our extravagant <laughs> vacation plans. Sorry. <laughs> Aiden's is the best right there. Look, Look at that. Look at uh, I've, All right, honey. <laughs> my first scared. George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come after me for my British accent. It's terrible. It's quite terrible. It's terrible. So, but you sound actually night. very stunning and beautiful <laughs> with that Are you going to let accent. me speak? Can you shut up, you chum? I think that. <laughs> Chum, I'm gonna go and bloody myself. <laughs> <laughs> the next All right. night, Crab Island. <laughs> oh, Crab Island, you say? Did. She did say that, she didn't did. she? She did. Crab Island. Quite well, quite well. Crab Island is a fool's day of like, that's all you do. And then you come home and you crash. Then, the final night that we're here, I have an epic plan, but they're gonna have to keep watching the vacay vlogs to find out. Ooh. Watch the vacay <laughs> vlogs if you guys want to see us in our George Washington Dad, what air. Is this back here? It's your what tail. Is oh, that's a rat tail. Flip that it. right there is a bloody rat tail. Flip it. <laughs> Turn to the side this way. Look at her hair. You look like you've been in the alleyway. What does that look like? Like a scallywag. <laughs> Rory, no, you look like a scallywagger. All right, so if you are from Britain, rate us on our accent. No, no, no. No, no, no. Right on, right on. Mother, go fetch me a biscuit. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now, well, can you say anything else? How about, like, say, okay, say we will be having a fine dining experience near the beach, but say it in a British accent. We will be, we will be enjoying a fine dining experience near the beach. Yeah, it falls apart. <laughs> the it way falls I said, apart. Well, you have to do she this. She only knows the happens. mother biscuit wait, one. Wait, wait, this is how you prep to get ready, okay? okay? Harry Potter, is that you? Harry, they do the Harry Potter. Harry, because they don't say their mood. H's, do they? So I don't know. Harry Potter. Harry <laughs> Potter. Where's Hagrid? And they don't say. <laughs> Tonight we're gonna enjoy a fine dining experience on the Gulf Coast. I the think. Emerald Coast, if you will. The Emerald Coast. The water's green, it's and green it's got there. a little bit of a hazy look. My two favorite things It's a little snow. hazy, it's clear. but pretty clear. The only thing hazy here is your brain, sir. Are you ready for yeah, a beach? No. Like, okay. Yeah. You're I'm not coming, love. Oh, I'm not coming. I'll I stay. I don't fancy you, love. I'll stay here and fancy in the hot tub. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All right, you guys are witnessing a model in action, an Instagram <laughs> model. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Jayla doesn't like it when people watch, and now she's she gets got all hundreds awkward. of thousands of people watching her. She gets her. awkward when people watch. No, it's like, it's like fine if like mom watches, but like. But like, dad can't watch. <laughs> sisters can't watch. Yeah, Ada takes, Ada takes the best Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay. No offense. <laughs> Ada can take the photos then. I'm not doing anything different than her. <laughs> no, Ada for and another the, reason just does the it The family better. argument Do you ensues. you like any of those? None of them? All right, guys, comment yeah, down below. Who's going to wreck the family vacation? Will it be Ada, It'll Rory, be. Tara, yeah. Jayla? For me. You always wreck it. I do? I think just like, yeah. overthink everything. You overthink what, everything. What the heck? You're the one that always wrecks it. No way. Yeah, because every time I'm like, oh, I want to uh, go to do a night alone. To in the middle of vacation. No, I'll do a night alone, and you just don't want to do it. A night you. alone? Yeah. Well, at least you're wearing your wedding ring. <laughs> That's rare. For all of you wondering if Tara and I have marital problems, no, we don't. They're doing their photo thing. I'm going to take you guys to the beach. I'm going to show you guys how beautiful it is here. It's so beautiful. And um, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because... We're going to take you guys to some amazing places.
that you're probably going to want to go to someday because it's so beautiful and we're going to show you guys all the hidden secrets of where to go. But look at this, my feet are in the water, look at how clear the water is, it's so beautiful. You can get this right in America, you don't have to go to like another country, it's all right here. It's pretty much made in America. But what's amazing about this beach is you get to see the sunrise and the sunset, you get both. It's so cool, it's, it's really, really pretty. You can see over there. But beautiful place. I've come here so many times now, I feel like I know where everything is. That hotel down there, that's the Hilton Sand Destin. Very nice place to stay if you're coming to visit. I'm not a travel guide, guys, and, don't, and this is not a travel channel, but I just thought I'd let you know. And when we get back upstairs to the room, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. But definitely, if you're coming to Destin, um, Sand Destin is really nice. They got like a nice bar and everything, uh, and they've got and they've got just, it's just a nice place to stay. But get a VRBO, get, you, you're supporting local business, um, local Floridians that, you know, have properties here. You get private beach access, which is much nicer. Rory. I just caught a crab. You just caught a crab and you lost it? Yeah. Hey, do you remember Sir Ducky? No. You don't remember Sir Ducky? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you the videos of Sir Ducky. Remember the inflatable? The big duck inflatable? Yeah. They have one at Publix. We're gonna go run and get one tomorrow, okay? I think someone's getting a little tired from traveling all day. And I think she's crabby, guys. Definitely not a night where we can go out to eat. We were planning on going out to eat, but I think your daughter I'm is tired. too cranky. You're yeah, tired too? It's all this nice air. Never is amazing. And look at this sand demon right here. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say sand <laughs> angel. <laughs> it's a sand demon. What'd you get? You caught a crab? A crab. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, no. It's right here. You got him? <laughs> okay, so fun fact about Rory. She is literally one of the most adventurous kids I know. She will touch anything. <gasps> oh, so cool, dude. Little sand crabby. Oh. <laughs> it's so mean to do. That's yeah, but do you know those little sand crabbies? They, like, once they get big, they go after the sea turtles when the sea turtles are trying to get, yeah. We actually have a video of us saving a sea turtle. Yeah, we do. Um, your mom was here. Yep. And we were saving a sea turtle from a giant crab. Actually, yes. there was like two crabs. Yes, they were Trying to baby. kill the baby and, sea turtle. Um, the turtle was on its back. Yes, so we, and they were like attacking it. So yeah. we flipped the sea turtle over. You're not supposed to touch him, but in that case. No, we flipped it, it with a stick. It was, with a stick, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, we flipped him with and a stick. And then he, he made it to the ocean. Yeah, in that case, I think you're supposed to do something right well, we did yeah we did well don't turtles save hatch the sea turtles don't turtles hatch at night we got sand crab number two number three. let me see number three we're gonna get the light on these guys so you guys can see them good oh yeah there they are little ghost crab can i hold one two of them in there you um, want to hold one yeah sure let's show it what they look like with us. wait i'm scared <laughs> oh i've already held those i need them try holding it no i want to see you <laughs> i don't even want to hold them <laughs> I don't want to be pinched by him. All right, we made it back into our hotel room and I was gonna show you guys the tour, but we're still kind of like cleaning up, picking up, all that good stuff. So instead of the tour, let's go to dinner. We have a guest here. He's actually uh, working the night shift. Oh, I wonder where you guys are. All right, I saw the joke from the waiter. Server, from the hey baby hi hi sweetie so we are at a really nice restaurant called surf hut it's really amazing here we got a beach view but it's just like way dark out there right now food is amazing have, well it looks really good i haven't tried it yet do the professional light okay no oh, we can see the view uh, we still can't see anything tara brings up a good point why has apple not upgraded their flashlight they keep upgrading the cameras we don't need any more camera upgrades Cameras are great. Update the flashlights. These things are the best. They're called wikis. They come with like the kids meals here. They're so fun. You can like do different things with them. Like make really bad eyeglasses. <laughs> All right guys, evidently I don't get to eat tonight. It's only the girls. Um, the girl literally came out and she's like, I'm sorry, did you order anything? And I'm like, yeah, I, I ordered some food. And she's like, what'd you order? And I'm like, uh, ribs and shrimp. She's like, whoa, like shocked. So we're gonna see if I get food or not. But look, they all have food. 
food everybody's eating. <laughs> Me, nothing. What did you guys get? Oh, Ada I got, got the mine, huh? Yeah. Sandwich. Shocking. Shrimp okay, what'd you get? Shrimp basket, crab legs, oh, no. the, uh, <laughs> queen. Should I call you a crabby queen? <laughs> crisis, crisis, we have a crisis. The kids brought up sandy beach towels so there is sand all over the place in our room. We gotta get this taken care of. All right, is it better? I don't know. You go touch it. You go walk on it with your bare feet. I'm not doing that. <laughs> it feels fine. You have shoes on. I don't feel it anymore. Yeah, it feels fine. Shoes. I felt them earlier even with my shoes. Oh no, there's still some. Uh, oh my god, there's so much. Uh. Mission failed. We're on the hunt for a broom now. Vacuum did no good. Okay, we got a closet. It's empty. I did see a laundry mat. There is a laundry mat in this house. And we're gonna find it. Let's see. The broom is over here. Okay, this is what you found a broom? Oh voila, it's just like the one at home. <laughs> Ask him to pick up a broom, and you might as well be talking to the wall. I told you. Oh my gosh. Evolution has not been kind to these simple beasts. This is amazing. With their lack of basic skills, they're forced to communicate in other ways. All right, take notice, boys. This is a this is a job, and I'm not trying to sound weird here, but this is a job meant for a woman because you know what? I did it, and she didn't. She said it wasn't good enough. Okay, boys, this is why we stay out in the garage. All right, let's do our garage workshop thing and build stuff. Let's build stuff because women are just more inclined at this stuff. Look at this. Oh, I've never built you anything. No. What about all that IKEA furniture? It's not the same. Are you that kidding me? Everyone. IKEA furniture, baby cribs. You sat your butt on that. The crib was not. Okay. For me. What about? Did I sleep in the crib. No. What about the box I built for the Christmas tree? That thing. Yeah. A two-year-old could have built that. Just saying. What about the child that's in your womb? I'm growing. Right that. now, I built, built that. I know. I, you planted the seed. I'm building it. <laughs> you guys are see, you just can't win, boys. You just can't win. That's right, boys. Okay. The what? I said that's right, boys. That's right, boys. <laughs> Try yeah, winning with the women. Man. Look at this pile. Okay, that is pretty ridiculous. Like, I missed a lot. I was trying to make us guys look good, but evidently Damn. I failed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll get you guys next time. I really I do apologize for my mistakes. All right, what are you guys doing in here? Just chilling. Chilling? Watching TikTok? So it's hot? Yeah. It's not. And there's no fan? I feel fine. All right, well, I just want to get you guys' favorite parts of the day today. What was, it, what was your favorite part? Uh, going to the restaurant. And the restaurant? And playing sand. And then putting sand on the dock because these boys, they were like lifeguards or something. They were like, nick, 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 and it was annoying me so much. <laughs> okay. I kept saying it over and over. <laughs> All right, Ada? The whole day except driving here. Except driving here. Whenever we stopped, it was fun though. All right, well, it looks like you two are worn out. Good night, my fan. I well, yeah, because you. to us right now, it feels like almost 12 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's what time is it right now? 10.42. Okay. So if it was 11, it would feel like 12 to us. So if you guys don't know, we're in Central Time right now, and we're used to Eastern Time, so we're getting used to the time adjustment. Can I come in? What was your favorite part of the day? I'm um, watching you dive in the pool. Really? Yeah. What did, what, what did you rate my uh, swan dive? No, it was horrible, but it was funny to watch you. Oh, dang it. <laughs> the Bockles with Tara. Are you gonna address this Do on camera? Do you want me to? Yeah, address okay. it. So I address have a lot it. of hairdresser friends and mm -hmm. I respect them and I think they deserve the money they make. Yeah. So it really annoys me when moms complain about having to pay for a service for their child because it's like buying a plane seat for your child. 
They're still taking up the seat. They're still using the seat no matter how big or small they are. Your child is still using up their seat, their time, and their skills. I do primarily go to a barber shop because, like, I mean, it's less out, involved. And it's less involved. Like, in a salon, you know, it's more involved. They got to color, they got to cut, they got to do right. all of that. And I understand that, like, your 11 or 12 year old may, 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 may not be getting, like, a color service, but. They still have hair in the that's the, cut. that's the kind of clients that they don't want. I know, and then it makes it hard because then nobody people, wants to cut their hair. Well, and then it makes it hard for people like me to find somebody good that will cut my child's hair. Because they think you're not gonna pay. They think I'm not gonna want to pay. Yeah, and I want and to. So if you're gonna, if you don't want to pay for the salon girl, that's gonna cut really. But really, then they go to Supercuts and complain about it there because you don't get a good enough haircut. Well, you're paying 25 bucks. Sorry. Yeah. You're not going to get a good enough and haircut. And it's all about bucks. who you find at those great clips and the It really cuts. is. It's all about who there you are find. good stylists there for sure. There I'm not bashing yeah, anybody yeah, who works yeah. there. But I have had personally bad experiences bringing my children there and I know people that have and I know there was a time where I well, brought yeah, I went to I went to I brought little Scarlett there, cousin Scarlett, yeah. and she got her curly hair cut and the girl was really good with curly hair and did a great mm -hmm. job. Now, she did not do very good with Ada's hair. Right, she was good with right. curly hair, but not with the straight hair. Well, I went to go to hair cuttery one time. This is when I used to spike it up on top and then like leave the side shaved. And I'm not even kidding. Like the line got so jacked up. It's not even about the price you pay because I go to the barber shop and I'll get- a, It's like $15. I'll get like a $15 haircut and it's beautiful, wonderful. My, I have a particular person I go to. But like one time I went to the hair cuttery and like boom, they like you know they were going really fast. That. They were going so fast, and I don't know if it's because they get like extra pressure, like if they're like told like, hey, you know. gotta cut this amount of hair. Like so many haircuts you know. in a day. I don't know. But anyways, but that was, was my rant. Part of the that day? was my rant for the night. Sorry. Um, that was your favorite part of the day. Ooh, my favorite part of the day was hanging out with everybody at the pool. My favorite part of the day was definitely going and seeing the beach Ooh, and tired now. seeing Rory catch the sand crabs. That was so cute. She's so cute. All right. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. And remember to do one thing. Eat, eat your pickles, kids. Bye. Come on, buddy. It's time for doggy daycare. Let's go. Good boy. Oh, he's walking me right now. He's walking me for sure. Benny, are you excited? Enzo. Yeah, they get to go to doggy daycare. Woo! Yay! You excited? You gonna meet all the other pups?